Hey there, Smiths and Sharks. Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. And I figured I'd finally give you guys the D. Hotel and Casino Las Vegas. Let's get inside and get started. It's the Ace of Vegas. The Ace of Vegas. All right, Spinners and Sharks, so here's how we got here. I had a peek in the mailbox and noticed I had a nice comp offer from the D Las Vegas for a quick stay. Two comp nights with no resort fees. The comp was for a standard king room, and since I wasn't paying, I figured I'd whip up a fresh $20 sandwich, press my luck a little bit, and see if I could be accommodated. Let's see how I did. and sharks so went down to the D here and I actually oh, 11th floor perfect did the uh, $20 bit wanted to go ahead and see what happens so they placed us on the 11th floor and we are in room one so we're gonna go ahead and jump on in here oh, it looks like room one over here looks like it's a corner room so we're gonna go ahead and jump in and let's get started and in we go. And all right, not too bad. All right guys, and here's what we're looking at. Standard corner room at the D over here. So we'll go ahead and walk on in. Let's see what we're experiencing. So you got the full mirror over here. You got some lighting on the sides here. So you can make sure that you uh, fresh up before you hit the strip there. So that's a good sign. And then you go back down over here. Of course you got all your amenities, so you have your ice bucket and then your cups too. All the toiletries up here. Single sink. Not too bad, decent depth on that one there. And then hair dryer over here too. I am gonna need that because my hair is getting long. So that is our whole front part of the bathroom here. Toilet's kinda in the center of the room there, not too surprising. Pretty standard, a little, uh, pretty standard. Pre-wrapped toilet paper. Got your emergency roll over here, right next to your his and her set of towels, or in my case, just mine and mine today. So we'll have that. And then of course right behind us is the steam shower too. Now, good news about this is it is appropriate Ace of Vegas site. That is over six feet, so that is good. And it doesn't look too bad. All things considered, a little bit of hard water on it. So that's not too bad. Bad news is it doesn't have a tub with it. So I can't really drop the card. I guess I can drop the card anyway. <laughs> to see the depth of the shower. <laughs> because you guys like to see that. And then of course you got on the actual door over here. Got a full body mirror to check yourself before you hit the strip. Shout out to TVP. All right, moving on. We've got a closet here. Now you can barely see it, it is a little dark in this room, so you can lose a few points on that one. But you got your iron up here, ironing board, and then the actual luggage rack here, along with your hanger, so you can hang up your suit jacket and your winter jacket, especially if you're coming from somewhere like Denver, Colorado, where it does snow. Spoiler warning, I may or may not have flown in from there. Think of that what you will. We slowly come back around over here, and we're gonna see the whole room from here, single king bed, with the nightstands and the art on the wall. So when we start from this side here, going to the right, you've got your nightstand, right with the lamp on it, pretty basic alarm clock attached to it too, and then of course you've got the thousand dollar chip playing the blackjack. Pretty cool. I enjoy it. Turn back around over here. Wall's pretty straightforward. And then you do have a little working desk if you are a vlogger, if you like to vlog and things like that. You pull that out, put in your charger, sit down over there, actually get some work done. This kind of reminds me of the one. I think this is a, the room that Kino had when we came down for Circa over here, so that's pretty dope. Got the television here. And then, of course, you have all the drawers. And oh, yo, this one transforms into your safe. Let's see. Oh, nice. All right, as it turns out, one, two, three, four isn't an acceptable code, so keep that in mind. I like that this safe thinks about that, so that's pretty cool. I wonder what's on this side. Okay, so this one's just a drawer. Then we have more drawers down here. 
so you can put your snacks and things, clothing and whatnot if you want to get packed or unpacked from a long trip. And then over to our right is the mini fridge. And looks like it's a good size fridge in here. Actually, it's pretty cold. Needs a little bit of defrosting up top over there, but overall pretty good. Most important thing, it's not crammed full of junk. So you can take your trip down to Walgreens, the ABC store over there, put snacks and drinks in the fridge, and then toss things out in the bin over here. You also have a lovely little seating area down this way, so people can sit down and sit with you. And because this is one of the corner rooms, they actually do have a full-size couch over here. So you can sit down, watch some television with people. Ha ha ha, you're in Vegas, you're not watching TV with anyone unless it's watching TV, if you know what I mean. And, oh, hang on. Oh, word? Okay, check this out, Spinners and Sharks. All right, Spinners and Sharks, so check this little feature out. It looks like there's a pull-out bed attached to this too. So, you can actually call down and get some sheets. And then, um, yeah, bring your friends in. Look at that. It doesn't have quite enough space to clear the bed over here, so you're gonna have to turn it a little bit. There actually is a pull-out couch here. Looks like the couch, uh, looks like the mattress could use a refresh. It's not too bad, though, all things considered. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> So if you've got some drunk friends that can't make it back to their room, you can just put them on this for the night. It's definitely spring loaded though, so if you have a bad back, keep that in mind. Seems to be very spring loaded. There we go. Now we'll just put that away. And now, most importantly, take a look at the king-sized bed over here with the uh, five pillows, so definitely appropriate for the missus, because she is a bit of a pillow fiend there. That's a uh, shout out to Wonder Woman. And that's the entire room here, so it's not quite as big or as flashy as the other rooms that you're going to get on the strip, but for being a downtown room, it's pretty far for the course. Does its job, and the view is definitely, uh, it's actually pretty decent. We got a good view of the Fremont uh, Street experience down there. Straight up Slotzilla, that's going to be keeping me up at night, I'm 100% certain. So, I suppose I shouldn't go to bed until at least 2. And then, yeah, that's pretty much the entire room. Now for a bit of the bad news. The outlet situation is just a little sparse in the room. I was only able to really find these as accessible outlets without having to run around. Though there are always spare outlets here in the bathroom. Also, the whole first night I really kind of struggled with the lights over here. I think one of the circuits was off, so they had to come up and fix that. Not so much a negative, but an odd thing I noticed too is that the shower door doesn't actually move. So you have kind of an open spot here for the shower. I hadn't realized that before, so that's kind of a kind of an interesting thing. But on the bright side, that faucet, it turns right up and it gets hot. Also, really helps having that high shower head once again, like I said before. Though I do wish that the shower door closed. Although it is a good way to kind of steam your clothes if you're not really feeling like ironing like I do. So there's that. I think the positives definitely outweigh the negatives on this room here. The view at night is just spectacular. I mean, all things considered, it's not too bad during the day. You can see the mountains, but you can also see a lot more at nighttime too. Especially the Slotzilla, so if it's something that you want to hit, there you go. There's a thrill ride. Alright then, Spinners and Sharks, here it is. Time for our final test. We're going to go ahead and test the bed. Let's see how it really is. Here we go. Three, two, one, and up. Oh. All right. Kind of firm, admittedly. I like a firm mattress here. Let's see. It doesn't seem to have any spring to it. So it's not spring loaded. So that's nice. It's got that kind of memory foam sort of top feel to it there. So that's not too bad. And uh, yeah, I think we're in pretty good shape. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and take a nap before I hit the strip. Maybe I'll live stream that tonight. Maybe I won't live stream that tonight. I guess we're gonna find out what happens. But until next time, Smithers and Sharks is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, 
Happy spinning, you guys. Viva, 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 Viva,